I've had an opportunity to talk to a lot of customers recently. And one thing I keep hearing over and over again is we're at an inflection point, a very specific inflection point where customers are shifting their development environments from laptops and local machines to the cloud. Now, the market as we've come to know it is the cloud development environment. And it's really taking one of the last things that we in the IT industry have not shifted to the cloud, which is how we actually produce code and we're shipping it now to that cloud. It's a great momentum and I've just heard a lot of buzz and energy, but there's a catch. It isn't easy. The solutions that are on the market today are either SaaS based, which means they're very prescriptive. They often limit developer choice or they're very complicated. So what we've done is we've launched Coder 2.0. It is the second major release of our open source project. And it's really designed to make sure that we combat that complexity. And we do that on two different ways. The first is we want to make sure the developer has an easy ability to customize their development environment when it's running in the cloud. And so we're releasing support for a new spec called dev containers. And dev containers are showing a lot of promise. It basically takes everything the developer cares about, their IDE, the different tools, libraries, languages, and makes it so that they can express that as code. And then it's very easy to spin up new workspaces. They don't have to ask their infrastructure or their desktop team for any support. So dev containers is specifically supported in a project we've built called Environment Builder or Env Builder. Makes it very easy to build dev containers into your developer workflow. So that's one thing we think is gonna greatly simplify CDEs or cloud development environments. But developers only half the equation. There's still a platform team or a DevOps team on the back end that needs to actually manage all of the infrastructure. And so for a while now, we've had the concept of a template. A template makes it very easy to express how much compute, how much memory, how much storage, what databases, all that backend infrastructure. And so customers have had creativity. They've built hundreds of templates. So in 2.0, we're releasing the template registry. It's now going to be, for lack of a better term, a marketplace, a way that you can go and learn about different templates, browse them, discover them. You can even contribute back to the community any templates you've created. And that's going to be the magic. If workspaces make it easier for developers, template registry is going to make it easy for platform teams. And that's how we're going to make sure that this market really hits the inflection point that we're seeing. But we didn't stop there. There's one last thing I want to talk about, which is sometimes customers want us to go one step further. And so we worked with JFrog because over two thirds of our customers are also JFrog customers. And so they were saying, hey, look, we're already using JFrog tools like Artifactory and X-Ray. Hey, Coder, can you just make it even simpler to integrate? And so we did. In fact, I call it push button simple. With a single button, you can basically indicate that you want us to connect to, say, Artifactory, and all of that can now serve as the backbone of Coder. And at the same time, we can take a lot of the security information that X-Ray is able to detect, and we can pipe that directly into the developer workflow so they can actually see, am I using a known vulnerable package or a known vulnerable binary? So it really takes DevSecOps or security and it shifts it even further left. And in fact, I encourage you to check out JFrog's own demo on this, which they did at their user event called Swampa. So Coder 2.0, it's the dev container support, it's the template registry, and it's integrations with JFrog. It's an awesome set of announcements. It's our biggest release yet. I'm really excited about where this and the market is going. And I encourage you to get started. It's open source. You can go to github.com slash coder, or you can go directly to coder.com and start a trial. And we are convinced that we can help you shift that last mile of software development off of machines and into the cloud and get the benefits of better compute, faster, safer, more reliable. It's really cool. Check it out.